Hi guys, welcome back. So this is part two of what I got in Paris. So this time I want to talk about what I got aside from my Birkin 25. Um, so I have this pile over here, so I'll just kind of delve into it. So the first one is just a twilly that comes, you know, after I got this bag. Although for Birkins, I actually prefer the look without any twillies. I think twillies just make it look a little bit more like cupcakey, a little bit more like dressed up, girly, whereas the Birkin's supposed to just kind of look more cool, casual. But I just got one, why not, right? So I picked this trilly here, mainly because it's got the blue nui color in it and it's got the yellow, which really accents the gold hardware. And there's some gray in there as well. So I'll just kind of put it on here, what it would look like with a twilly. I know this is wrapped here, because I don't have the patience for that but just something like that. So I'm most likely not gonna use it, maybe sometimes, and if I'm gonna use it, I'll probably use it in the back, just to kind of provide a little pop of color. But I just really like the simplicity of the Birkin handles without any twillies, without any rodeos or any charms. I think the bag is beautiful enough as it is. So if it's in the back, then the twilly will look kind of like this. I mean, maybe one day I'll change my mind, right? So it doesn't hurt to have one. and. Since my essay was so amazing, I really couldn't say no to purchasing a Twilly. So this is what it would look like if I kind of tied it in the back. So there's a little bit of a pop of color. What you can also do is you can probably also make a bow with it if you like. Um, in the front with the Twilly. i just take this off first. So you can probably tie it like this. Just kind of make a little bow here. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, maybe. My bow is not really that great, but you kind of get the idea, right? Just something like that. So this is a twilly that I picked up. And let's put this away and then I'll show you some of the other stuff. Okay, so some of the other stuff I didn't really buy. So they did offer some Hermes chocolates, which is always appreciated. And then this is the little Petite H thing that I got. So I thought this was really unique, really interesting. Um, worth the money? Uh, probably not. So you're probably wondering, what is Petite Age? So Petite Age is actually a workshop that brings artisans and artists to use the leftover materials, whether it's leather, silk, even tableware, and recycle it to make something that is creative and unique. Each piece is usually one of a kind. They had passport holders made with leather and silk, dices made with leather, bag charms in the shape of animals, etc. Petite Age is apparently only in Paris, but they do have pop-up stores at Hermes around the world. I really like the concept of creating new life from materials that would otherwise Otherwise be tossed. But I really wanted to get something from Petite H since it's so unique. So this just looks like a jar of sand, right? With like a little silk drawstring, nothing special. So I asked my essay what this was, and he said that this is after this is actually like a leather aftercare product that they use in the Hermes spa. So what this does is you can actually put this in your handbag, in all of your handbags, and there's actually a little, if you open it, if it will open, oh my gosh. So there's actually a little brush. I don't know if you can see that. Okay, I just made a really big mess. I think I introduced too much oxygen in here. You know, it's just refusing to close. That was a fail from Petite H. So what it's supposed to do is that the powder is what the actual the artisans use when you have oil spills onto your bag. So there's oil that spills into the bag. You're supposed to take this out. And then with a little brush, dab some of the powder onto that oil spot, leave it for about an hour or so, and then brush it off. And that's supposed to soak up the oil and prevent damage to any of their leather. And I thought it was just for exotic leather, but he said it's actually for all the leather, since oil can damage the leather and it can actually leave a little stain as well. So, I mean, I don't know what I'm going to do now that it doesn't even close. All right, so anyway, so there's another, this is just a little gift. So it's like a little uh, leather... I don't know, is this a leather charm? It's kind of like a little work booklet. This is a gift, I think. And you just follow the instructions and then you make almost like a little bag charm. So my husband spent like 30 minutes making this because it's like an origami, it's like an origami pattern. And I guess this could be used as a bag charm. It's kind of cute. It's a little horse head and it's made of leather, which is really neat. So this is just like a little free gift. Okay, so now let's move on to the actual things that I bought of substance and uh, monetary value. So we have, this is what I picked up from the FSH store. 
So this is the home where item that I picked up and it is this mosaic plate. So this one can be used for jewelry, it can be used at the front of your house, you know, just to kind of hold keys and spare change and I just thought it was very cute and it's not that expensive so I thought it'd be nice to kind of hold my jewelry in here and uh, yeah, so that's that. The second piece that I got was, so the second are two pairs of shoes. So the first pair of shoes, and I love both of these shoes. They're both very, very unique and very, very comfy as well. Okay, so the first pair of shoes, it is this beautiful architectural design mule. And it's just so stunning with this. It's actually made of glass. So this is actually quite heavy. And it is black suede leather and this short but very unique heel. So I just fell in love with this heel. It just looks really elegant and it looks very, I think you can dress it up and down. So I'll show you guys kind of like little mod shots, but I just love this and it's very comfortable because it's suede as well. So that's that. And the last pair of shoes that I got It's actually a pair of loafers. So I originally was interested in these loafers as mules. Because as mules, there's the little flap that comes up here. It's actually a little bit shorter and there's no backing. So it's just a really cute mule. But they're loafers. I mean, this design, first of all, it doesn't scream or mess, which I love. It's very simple. There's the little, um, the Ruby, the Ruby's class. But anyway. The thing I love about these loafers is, first of all, the gold color, which is beautiful, gold on gold. Secondly, this is made of the softest goat leather, but it's just so buttery smooth. It's so smooth, you can actually see the wrinkles on the uh, top of the shoe after a couple wears. But unlike the Osmules, because I was looking into that, the Osmule leathers are so hard, and I heard they're not that comfortable, whereas this one, it is so buttery soft, very, very comfortable, very walkable. And the backing definitely helps uh, with the walking aspect compared to the mules. So that's why I picked this. Um, the sizing for this, it definitely runs quite large. So I have to size down to a seven and a half for these. I'm usually like a size eight or eight and a half in Hermes. So you might want to size down if you're interested in these. Okay, so those are, that's it. So there's not really that much stuff. I didn't really buy that much other stuff, which I got really lucky, I think. So now let's talk about the Moy Not Special Order Experience. So Moy Not is a brand that is similar to Hermes. It goes back, you know, it dates, they make trunks, and um, they also specialize in beautiful leathers, you know, very classic designs. Some people might say one of their bags, I think it's the Gabrielle, looks very similar to a Kelly. So I was interested in checking out the brand because we don't really have it in Canada. So in Paris, there's actually a store on the FSH. So we went in and I'll share a little bit of the, the clips that I shot while I was in there. So they have many, many different bags. I really like the Rejane bag, which I just think it's like a very cute, small, very elegant bag. And it's very, it doesn't scream logos, doesn't scream brand names. So I think it's very low key, but yet very elegant and very feminine. So I wanted to get that bag, but there's, they do come in a variety of colors. I think they have like a red, a two, black, but a lot of their hardwares are silver hardware. I think they don't really do gold as much. I know the a two comes with gold. I saw a little video on YouTube where somebody was showing a natural calf routine and it was just stunning and I fell in love instantly. So the thing about Moina is that they can actually custom order your bags. So whatever's not available, they have a whole book of these leather swatches. You can actually make the bag in the exact leather and the exact color you want with the exact hardware as well. And there's no extra charge for that. So I thought that was really cool. And I just really wanted a Regain bag in the BB size, which is like a 20, 20 centimeter in Berenia leather. So of course, I'm never going to get Hermes Berenia because let, let's be honest, even if I got Hermes Berenia, I'd probably be terrified to use it because for that price, any scratches would just really hurt my soul. So that's why with Moy Not, their Berenia leather, they said, was actually exactly the same as the Hermes Berenia, which is just like mind blowing. So you do have to pay a premium for Berenia leather, but you know, it does take about four or five months and you pay the deposit right away. They do take away the VAT, which is nice, about 20%, uh, sorry, 10% and they will ship it to you. Of course, I think there's gonna be some import duties and stuff when they do ship it, but it's just the most 
beautiful bag. And I was wondering if they can adjust the strap as well, but they unfortunately said they couldn't. So once I get the bag, I'll definitely share the unboxing as well. I think it'll be beautiful. If I didn't own any Hermes bags, I think Moi Now would be a really good alternative because they're very low key, very elegant. They're actually under, more understated than Hermes. They have the same craftsmanship and the same type of leathers and they also have post care as well. All right, so that's it for this video. If you guys have any other questions about anything, please feel free to leave a comment down in the comment section down below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.